So, Billy, another big game. Um, Burnley <coughs> top of the table. How have you been preparing for this one? Shame again, Natalie. It's been a, a very interesting week. Uh, as you can imagine, you're, you're always on eggshells with international players being away and, you know, the, 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 I feel like small squad training session. But it's been, a, it's been a very good week for us. What about injuries? That's the big question this week, isn't it? Well, this is part of management. You've just got to accept that that's what happens in this is business. You know, at, at the moment, we're, we're missing some very important players. But we've also picked up one or two more injuries, unfortunately. So, at the moment, as it stands, we've got Kelvin Wilson and Danny Collins both still missing. Greg Halford, unfortunately, has picked up a, a calf, a slight calf strain. Jack, Jack Hobbs has picked up a bit of a virus. Uh, or possibly food poison. You know, it's it's one of these situations where the, the doctors are still looking at him. Uh, we've lost obviously David Vaughan with a, a hamstring and Andy Reid with his problem in Ireland. So we're missing some very important players. But this is what management's all about. So six players out and a bit of a crisis at the back then for you. Well, what what, what we've done, Natalie, as you know, we're looking at the the loan market very very closely. Uh, also, I can confirm to you right now that. Uh, that we've made a number of more than a number of inquiries, and unfortunately, we've been knocked back for a number of very good options. And that's what happens, as I said before, these things happen. People and other teams are obviously looking after their own backyard, and it's very, very difficult. But we'll keep asking the question, we'll keep looking. We've been a little bit unfortunate, but we can confirm that we have uh, made more than a couple of inquiries, and unfortunately, we've been uh, pretty unsuccessful at the moment. Chris Cohen said after the Leicester game that it was your meticulous preparation that really helped them get that win. Have you been having to weave your magic this <laughs> week then? <laughs> well, we're changing training slightly. We're, we're starting to get focused on, if you like, moulding this team into what we'd like to see in the future. And we know that we've only been here for, is it, five months or so. But, you know, this group of players that's been brought together in the last transfer window, Natalie, we know that, that we're just work in progress. We're unfortunate with injuries. We know that, that we've been unfortunate. We've picked up some very key players that, that are now missing, like Wilson and Collins and uh, Halford, Hobbs, Vaughan, uh, you know, people like that, Andy Reid. So there's some very important players that, that were missing in the team, but that's football. As I said before, we're here to, to manage a football club which will pick up many suspensions, many injuries, and will give us many problems over a long, hard season. Um, Burnley are unbeaten in 11, they've got a great away record. What do you have to do to, to win this weekend? Well, continue with a very good form that we've shown against the top clubs, because against the top clubs this season, we've actually done very well. So I'm hoping that we can continue that trend. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, ourselves, we've lost three in 15 matches. And, of course, we're disappointed in one or two draws that we picked up and one or two little things that went against us, last-minute goals and things. But we've still lost three and 15. We're still in the top six. We've still got good players here. And we'll go and make it as difficult as we possibly can. You mentioned the loan market. Mm. Will you bring anybody in then before the weekend? Well, we'll certainly try, Natalie. We're looking at it. And as I said, uh, we have been unsuccessful so far. And there's not much we can do about that. Or we can only ask a question. And we'll continue to ask the question. But we're unfortunate. We're missing all these players in, in a, if you like, a, a very strong position in the centre-back area. To lose Wilson, Collins... Halford and Jack Hobbs, uh, you know, in, a, in that period of time is obviously a little bit unfortunate, but that's what that's football. After the Leicester game, we saw you in the dressing room. Our cameras were lucky enough to talk to, and heard you talking about togetherness and how mm. that had helped you beat Leicester. Obviously, Leicester have been a great side this season so far. Um, is that a key thing for you when you do have injuries? Well, when you face clubs like Leicester, and don't, don't be kidded here, that the Leicester City team and staff are probably two and a half years together. So they've had a lot of time to prepare and organise and you know, build, build partnerships. They've obviously spent a lot of very good money on very good players. They've got an excellent staff and they're a club that will be there, there or thereabouts. So we know that to, to compete with these teams, we have to try and be as organised as we possibly can. And uh, of course, that spirit and togetherness will certainly help us along. But, you know, uh, we've got good players here. We do work hard at our game. We, we, we don't get everything right. We get things wrong, like many other people in this world. But uh, we're, we'll try and continue to do the best we can and we'll try and prepare the players as best as we can for every match. Finally, it's a very big weekend for Forrest, of course, um, but also for Carl Frotch, the boxer, who is a huge Come Forrest on, fan. Come on, Carl, come on. 
you've got the you've got the support of uh, everybody here at Forest. We wish you all the very best. Go and do your stuff what you normally do, and uh, hopefully we'll be celebrating along with Carol and his team after this very important fight. And uh, we wish him all the best. So come on, go and do it. <laughs>